Good morning. So, I want to do a template video, and I cannot find my purple mat. And I don't know. I always keep it close, so I don't know. But I do have this one, and I'm going to give it a try. It's a cutting mat. But as you can see, it is really a mess. Disgusting. And I'm going to try the alcohol on it that I showed you before and we're gonna see how it works for this you know it works uh, I'm not so sure that this is gonna work here it usually works so well but it doesn't look like it wants to work on this. And there's all kinds of gunk on here. Let me just really get some alcohol on here. I've got glue stuff stuck on here. And ink. And it's just really, really, really a mess. Well, it's getting some of it. It's not getting this big green thing or this glue stuff. So, doesn't work on everything, I guess. And it kind of acts like it wants to, but... It's really not. It's not doing as well as it did on the other stuff. So this cutting mat is not a good thing to use. <laughs> for um, messy, dirty stuff, obviously. And um, But I need something that's a little softer than my glass mat underneath to do the template. So, I might have to use it anyways. I don't know what could have happened to my purple mat. I mean, when I need it out of the way, I just fold it up and put it where I keep my paper trimmers and stuff. And it is not there, and I'm hoping it didn't somehow get tossed in the trash. I use it for all kinds of stuff. And that, that glue stuff does not want to come up from here. Even with the alcohol. Nor does the green. So this will have to probably go in the trash but it's going to have to work for now so we're just going to have to deal with the ugly dirty mess but usually the alcohol cleans that stuff right up not on this so my goodness, what have I done? Here we go. The template library, I am still on the indigo. I am on number 14, the concertina pocket album. I have this because that looks like that. And it looks like it's got the flower thing with a sentiment on it. And I thought, well, 
this will work. And let's see what we need here. It says we need for the sides, for the album sides and the concertina sides, we need two sheets of 12 by 12. The mats, we need two sheets of eight and a half by 11. And then pages of the pages, the album pages and mat and layers, four sheets of eight and a half by 11. And concertina sides, right here, cut two. Album sides, cut one, and then two. So, what in the world? That, al that alcohol leaked liquid out. Okay, let me grab this is 12 by 12, but I don't have sturdy, sturdy 12 by 12 solid paper so let's just do it in the black this is violet studios but it's not the same thickness that I normally like to use. Um, and I'm thinking it's 12 by 12 because of the length that makes us need 12 by 12. And I need my embossing tool. So I need to use the outside lines much more solid this cutting pad than the silicone mat oh no why does it have to be 12 by 12 it doesn't have to be 12 by 12 it could all be eight and a half by 11 it could be the white Cause this is this is for the pages that's separate I don't know okay score lines score line Okay, and then this we need two of. So normally I would go ahead and just cut two, but um, the problem with that is this has all these score lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do the two separate so and that's up to you if you're going to come back and score it separate anyways you might as well cut them both out right That's an awful lot, an awful lot. This really shouldn't be that much to um, do. It should be pretty easy. There's no top 
there's no lid or nothing coming over. I think that's why it's album and not wallet. Okay. Now I just need to do one more of the sides. I actually like the way that scored. I am pressing a little bit harder than I normally would because of the fact this is harder and not giving me the give that I like. Okay, but I can see it real good. It feels like a good score. So now, We got to cut them out. It has us doing the pages and everything already too. But I'm going to wait on that. I want to put this together. First. And then we'll see how much time is left. Before we do. That. Okay, there's one side. That alcohol sm smell is strong right now. Ooh. Oops. Let me put this. Okay. 
Now for the pocket part. The album, they're calling it. I can't get my hand to be still on the spot. I need it. There we go. Okay, so these are going to get scored in the same way. So there's that. That's not very big. It flattens to a three and a half by six. So if that tells you anything. And then we're going to fold these back and forth. And that's going along pretty quickly. Staying lined up very nicely. Shoot. I like the way this one is working out. Maybe I should have been using this combination all along, but this paper is just not solid enough for um, a lot of stuff. I'm sure it'll be fine for this, but um, as far as cards and stuff go, and I want to do this one the same way. I want the folds going the same way because they're both going to have to go in here, and they need to be the same. So, See how I started down, so I started down. And as long as I started out the same, it's going to end up the same. Okay, so they're the same, and they got your count right so that each side's going to be the same. And now all we're going to do is glue one end here and the other over here. So now I need my glue. Oh, oh, <laughs> it all came out of my... and I might need that. This is not the glue I need. Let me see if I can get this one working. Okay. So, see it starts, then I think that bad comes back.
Ooh. I did something. Okay. So I'm gonna line it up at the bottom on the fold and on the side. So that lines up very nicely. I might even want to bring it up a little bit. They say to use red liner tape. Always like to use white glue. I, I don't know. Everybody seems to like red liner tape, but for me, it just doesn't seem to work that well. So now I'm gonna put this one on this side. That I don't want to have this side closed up, and now I gotta put it in. So I'm gonna do this one on this end. Yeah, I got this one going. I've been wanting this glue going for a while now, so that's good. I do like this black. I like the color of this black. I might just stick it up just a little bit. Okay. So those are both in. Now they gotta be Folded back, get them folded back. Mm. See if I'll hold it. Nope, sure isn't. Okay, so I'm gonna do this slowly because now I'm gonna fold this one back and hold it down. And I'm gonna get glue. Both of them. It's a lot of um, concertina. To me, it seems that way, anyways. Okay. Now. I don't want the fold. I want to go where the score line is to get it in. Right? And I got to line it up. And I'm going to hold it. This one wants to break free now. before it glues down. I got some glue on that side and I don't want that sticking. So I need to get that glue off of there. trying to get the glue off because I think it's like a tacky glue so if I don't put nothing there it'll be tacky and that means it'll glue it together there if we're not careful so there's our wallet 
not wallet, album. The only problem I see with this is that there's no closure on it, and I don't know how we're going to keep it from just completely See, it's gonna do that. So we could put some kind of closure. I don't know. I don't know for sure what kind of closure. <laughs> but some kind of closure. Sure, look at where I messed up. I got glue. I had it all over my fingers. There goes the mailman, but it's a lady, and she didn't look to not our normal person. Okay. So now we need to do. You could have decorated it already. You could decorate it now or wait till the end. We have our album pages. Let me see if that's big enough. Yes. Now, one of the things I would go ahead and do with this, just use a paper trimmer. It is, let me measure. Like three and a quarter. Maybe a little under. Or maybe a little. Just right past like three and an eighth or a sixteenth. Unless I moved that. Oh, let me look. Three and a quarter inch by Five and three quarters. So, this is just a small one. Um, yeah, it goes to five. So, five and three quarters. No, that, that's not what I said, huh? I say five and a quarter. I wish they gave us the measurements because I just can't believe I can't remember it. <laughs> really, you can make it any size you want to. As long as you make it, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's five and a half. Well, no, five and three quarters. Three and a quarter by five and three quarters. It's right in there perfectly. How does it fit in here? 
to put one in each concertina if it's pretty perfect. A little, not quite as high, it could be a little bit higher up. Did do that three and a quarter, right? Did I do two and a quarter? I don't think so. Three and a quarter. So it could go a little bit bigger. See? Maybe they feel like it should be down in there. So, five and three quarters, what I said. And three and a quarter. This was the side where I cut, and it's not even. That's why I went with the other side. <laughs> so, see, just easier. Just so this, then take a paper cut. Paper cutter and cut it. And then... I go down in there, you decorate them, put some pictures, whatever you want to do. And I could use two more, but I'm not going to worry about that. I would, I would do a closure of some kind of myself. Um, something, maybe just some ribbon, uh, that's not good enough for a pen, let me see, so you want to be able to tie it. Right. And I'd rather put too much than not enough. I would just glue it down. I should have actually cut it first. <laughs> That's okay. It doesn't matter. I can cut it later. Just stick it on. Just gluing it on. I don't even know how centered I am. And then come and cut. Uh. 
Okay. Now we could do some mats and layers on it. Um, uh, let me think. Do I want to do two or just one? I'll just do one for this video. Just... Ooh, I wonder if that'll fit. Too short. I can't get two out of that. I think I've been on a blue kick lately. I don't know why. But I've tended to be drawn to the blues. Look, okay, that's pretty. And it's um, cardstock, it's good weight. So, since I have my ribbon back behind, this should work out pretty good. And I don't know if I can get two on here or not. And honestly, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to measure that mat. And it looks like... Three and a quarter by five and a half. Is that the same size as those? No. Wait. Three and a quarter. I don't know if that's big enough. I wonder if I measured the wrong pocket. By five and a half. Let's see. The three and a quarter is okay. I don't like the five and a half. So, how big is this? Three and a quarter. No, that's not going to work. Five and a half. Let's try three and a half. You don't have to use theirs. Just because they use it does not mean that you have to use that. Oh, I did the wrong one wrong. Uh, three and a quarter by five and three quarters. You're all watching me too, yelling at me, probably telling me, no, 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 Roy, you messed up. See, that's much better to me. So, three and a quarter by five and a half. Five and a half. Uh-oh, 
That's not long enough. I bet it was five and three quarters, huh? And I messed it up. <laughs> oh, I should be waiting until I'm thinking straight for the day. Okay. Now, three and a quarter by five and three quarters. And I love it the way it fits. Three and a quarter, five and three quarters. I don't know if I have another one of these in here, this color, but. See, that looks so much better than their size, which was one of these other ones. Not that one. This one. I mean, I guess that's okay. But to me, that looks better. Uh oh. I just. <sighs> this is the problem when you're base is not made of sturdy enough stuff. Okay. Let me bring these blues back and see. Okay. Three and a quarter. By five and three quarters. Never feel like you have to do the way they do it exactly. You can always make your own changes to any of this stuff. You bought it, change it. Do what you like. I made the changes. You might like that mat the way it was. Right? Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you don't. You won't. You might like that better than how I have it. I am not having a good day today. But I promised I wouldn't edit my mistakes out. Look at uh, I squashed it. So be careful. There is no reason I had to have 12 by 12 paper. I could have used the stronger stuff. Okay, so now I can tie it up however tight I want it to be. Nobody has to lose if you use it as an album. You don't want to lose your pictures out of it, right? Imagine carrying it around like this all the time. Just
I don't see that being a great idea. You could also put one on each side here. You know, one on this side and one on this side and have two bows there. That would work too. That might be kind of cute and different looking. But I'm going to keep it this way. And I am going to get my dies out. One. And two. And I'm going to do... Uh, well, I was going to do... I thought I was going to do a black one. But I'm not seeing... Any black paper big enough. Aha. Uh -huh. premium or if that's still too small is it maybe not okay so I'm gonna get this All right, and I'm going to glue. You hear things falling? I hear things falling. <laughs> All over the place. I'm going to glue this down. Then, this is the bigger one, so I'm going to get the smaller, and you know what would be cute? balloons let's do the balloons make sure the balloons are going in the right direction <laughs> That's a pretty good size difference, right? But that's all right. It's still cute. Uh, 
I like this. Um, the way they decorated this. They kept it simple, but they used, actually used the dies that they gave us on this one. So that's pretty good. And there it is now. I just need to add a sentiment or um, and, you know, something to personalize it. So I'm just going to leave this like this in case I decide to use it, but I doubt it with this. But I do think this could be a very cute swap container used bigger of course and it would give us quite a few um compartments sort of <laughs> but anyways there we go All right, everybody, there it is. And without the bow, there it is. So if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you'll join me again. All right, everybody. Bye-bye now.